Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ, blessed Easter, let us dive into the Word. In today's Gospel reading taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verses 1 to 8, we hear of the story of the vine and the branches. But today especially, also the church celebrates the feast of St. Joseph the worker. And we are reminded of the importance of labour, of humility and devotion in our lives, exemplified by the person of St. Joseph, who was you know, a man of few words in sacred scripture, but his action spoke volumes about his devotion to God and also to his family. As we reflect on John chapter 15, 1 verse 8, Jesus uses this metaphor of the vine and branches to teach us about our relationship with Him, how you and I can be connected to Him. Jesus says that I am the true vine and my Father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that does bear fruit, He prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. And this passage really reminds us of the importance of staying connected to Jesus. Like how the branches are connected to the vine. When you and I, we remain in Jesus and we allow Him and His words and His presence to remain in us, my dear brothers and sisters, we will bear much fruit. And this fruit can be evident can be seen in our actions and our attitudes and how we live our faith. You know, I was thinking about how Jesus would have used this analogy or metaphor of connection in today's world. Maybe he would have used the example of a handphone. You know, you and I, we are connected to our phones. When a message comes, automatically we get distracted and we want to open that particular message. Or maybe we are connected in some ways to what's happening around the world. And when there is news, you know, we are always on social media to get those information. But my dear brothers and sisters, similarly, Jesus wants us to be connected to Him. Just like how you and I are connected to our phones, connected to social media, connected to those things around us. Because Jesus knows that without Him, we can do nothing. And so Joseph, his life teaches us this value of humility and of fruitful labor. He was connected to God. Like a well-tended vineyard, our lives are tended by God who prunes and nurtures us so that we can bear abundant fruit for His kingdom. And St. Joseph is one example of that. We all know that St. Joseph, you know, his occupation, his job was carpentry. And that was not just a means of livelihood, but really a reflection of his dedication to his family and how he used this as a means to provide for his family. And he continued to trust in God's abundant providence. And so as we reflect on this particular passage, as well as the example of St. Joseph, let us examine our own lives, dear brothers and sisters. You know, are we abiding in Christ in this season of our life, in the various vocations that God has called us? Are we allowing His Word to shape us and His Spirit to guide us? More importantly, are we willing to be pruned as we let go of all the things that hinders this spiritual growth. So let's pray for the grace, the grace to work diligently on our relationship with the Lord as we remain connected to Him, on all that God has entrusted us of our earthly occupation and task. Let's do it with great conviction, offering up as a offering up to the Lord as we cultivate this deeper relationship with the Lord. So dear brothers and sisters, may the feast of St. Joseph, the worker, inspire us to labour with love, to trust in God's plan and remain firmly rooted in Christ, the true vine, bearing fruit that will glorify Him 
forever. Amen.